Yeah. All right, so so Rodney but Green, I, 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 this I, is we're now in your domain. It's yes, your domain here. Yes, yes, and I promise you it won't be as easy as you may think. All right, so you now here's the deal. You're the director of golf here. Yes. But you don't really spend time on the golf course. Not as much as people may think. You know, I, and I'll tell you what I am is a golf professional. The guys you see on television are professional golfers. Huge difference. Right. Huge difference. But I try to scrape it around a little bit. I okay. get out there every now and then. All right. So what does a director of golf do? Well, there's many different uh, responsibilities for a director of golf. Mainly, I, I run the operations. Obviously, four golf courses here at Ennisbrook, and I oversee uh, all the operations as well as the maintenance division as well. But really, you're more of a business operator this amount of who's playing golf. Absolutely, and, and, and many of my friends, when I remember getting my Class A membership into the PGA, wanted to know when they were gonna see me on TV because they just didn't get the connect. And I think you may understand it because you've been around golf a long time and people who are around it uh, see that. But when I meet people for the first time, right away they just wanna know, you know, so how's your game and how do you play? And, and I joke all the time is that Sheila Johnson doesn't look at my scorecard, she looks at my P&L sheet. <laughs> All right. See, that's called down the middle. Nice shot. So, Ronnie, you're a Class A PGA profession. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how many are there? How many African Americans? You know what? Uh, I, I'm not exact with the numbers. And actually, if I go into the numbers, it's a, I would say sometimes it's probably a little disheartening mm -hmm. uh, when I look at the numbers. So I, I try to stay away from you know what the exact numbers are, but I know it's a, it's a, it's a low amount of, of yeah, class got, A PGA so, golf so professionals. Total, how many you got? Uh, about twenty seven thousand. Twenty seven thousand, yeah. and you got less than a hundred black. Yeah, probably I'd say that's fair fair assessment. But but I would say that 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 probably sounds like a a, a grim statement when you think about it. Mm -hmm. um, and and I usually try to back it up by saying that there's been some progress, but there's still work right. that needs to be done. Before you were here, uh, you spent time at Disney. I was at Disney for 13 years. Yes, I was. Uh, I was uh, the head golf professional and director of instruction at Disney. Actually, Disney was my first head golf professional job. I played college golf at South Carolina State. Uh, I turned pro when I came out and did that, uh, as we call it, chase your ball kind of thing, mm -hmm. ate hot dogs and beans, and did that for a while until I was uh, you know, telling myself in my age, until I was in maybe my mid-30s. And, uh, and then I got serious about the business side of the game. And, um, and that's what I talk about being the golf professional and hanging up my professional golfer hat. Well, one of the reasons that we wanted to come here uh, is obviously Sheila Johnson owning it. And, you know, we're always talking about uh, African-Americans when you're in a leadership position, having the ability to be able to hire folks for positions. They, otherwise, we would get shut out. I mean, right. you apply at a whole lot of different places to be a director of golf over a period of years, sure, and you got your shot here under Sheila. Right, uh, well, Sheila Johnson has been a godsend for me, and obviously for that opportunity that you just spoke about, I think that there are numerous opportunities out there but a lot of times um, you just don't get, you don't get a chance to be able to get in the door. And so Sheila had given me the opportunity or has given me the opportunity and, uh, and I plan on taking full advantage of it. Let's say there's somebody out there, whether it's a young kid, somebody who's in college, or even somebody who's operating in corporate America who wants to make a transition, uh, what would you tell them they need to be doing to prepare, to prepare for a potential job uh, in, on the business side of golf? You know, I, as I think back when I was in college, uh, had I known uh, 25 years right. ago, uh, that I was going to be uh, managing a multi-million dollar operation, uh, I probably would have taken a few more business classes. Your job, you've got to get people to play these courses right. to meet that bottom line. Right. I, I think that golf is 100%, I call it the sport of business. For me, the most important thing is expanding a person's view to understand there are different types of jobs. Absolutely. That they don't have to go into one particular area because if you want your child to be an entrepreneur or a CEO, I mean, there are opportunities in this game as well. And look, enough talk. Now it's time for us to uh, see if we can put this uh, putt close to the hole. Oh. Oh, another little tap in par. Okay. Let me ask you this. So yes, sir. So here you got a he got a CEO who, um, who who understands the importance of providing opportunities. And so, how do you see your role in terms of expanding the base of African Americans, reaching back, helping the next person to come into the game? So, are you mentoring other guys who uh, or women who want to be directors of golf of resorts because? You know, you're one in the class by yourself really running a major resort. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I think that's a great opportunity, and Sheila and I are actually committed. Uh, one of the things that I'm able to do is I go down to the National Minority Golf Championship down in Port St. Lucie mm -hmm. each year, and I bring in some kids to come here and intern for the summer months. And uh, this is only my third season here, but we've had seven kids in here in the three years that I've been here. Uh, and, I, and I'll go back a couple years, but I know we've had them from Hampton, Winston-Salem State, Bethune-Cookman, Kent State. Uh, uh, ladies and men, as a matter of fact, and so that's a good opportunity for us. And, and you know, and Sheila and I talked when I first got here, is that we have an opportunity to make a difference. So let's make sure we do so. And that didn't make a difference. Literally, change the face of the game. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, in golf, uh, we always say let's not talk business on the golf course. And so uh, we are done with this segment. Uh, so now it's time for us to keep playing, so I can get in your pocket. All right. I don't know about all oh, of that, no, but, I take but it is time for us to keep playing. I, I did bring a deposit slip to the golf course because I don't bring money. I just, I just make deposits. And I don't take checks. I don't, it don't, don't matter. I, but I'm you be getting saying. out some cash, so I'm let's go. Saying. Let me go take some of your money. I don't take checks. All right. All, all right. right. Here we go.